അർപ്പിക്കാം മാം വിളിക്കാം Good afternoon everyone. I welcome you on behalf of uh, Chamber for the Advancement of Small and Medium Businesses today to our webinar Innovative Approaches for Export Market Entry and Growth for Food Products. We have an amazing speaker who has got I I I can't say how much experience he has got but he is one of the best speaker that we can ever find on this topic and we are really eagerly waiting to hear him. so i welcome you all on behalf of our president mr nilesh lele and the whole csmb women cell group to our today's amazing webinar namely innovative approaches for export market entry and growth for food products we welcome you all thank you ma'am so i will give a short introduction to csmb i would request everyone to please mute yourself Can you see my screen? Yes. So CSMB was founded uh, in 2020. Officially launched on March 2021. Uh, as the name suggests, we work closely with stakeholders for advancement of micro, small, and medium businesses. We may uh, we tend to make MSMEs more resilient and make them stronger backbone of Indian economy. So our uh, objectives are working extensively for advancement and. growth of micro small and medium businesses we represent msme sector in various forums empowering farmers to become entrepreneurs convergence of academic research academic technologies government schemes and policies to benefit the smes assist smes in developing products to cater the global market capacity building through trainings and development study to use knowledge enhancement strategic tie ups organize parties organize and participate in exhibitions uh we have we are blessed with a great advisory board and uh, these are our committee members core committee members uh, from all over india uh, our initiatives include knowledge series we have around 100 webinars uploaded on youtube and around 10000 people have already attended we and we have around 2000 youtube subscribers uh, we run startup buddy program where uh, Uh, it helps build network within professionals by signing up for the same startups can collaborate with various service providers uh, we have a e learning portal where we are uh, trying to uh, bridge the gap between uh, industry and institutes by uh, providing skill uh, trainings and we have launched for uh, job mela right now so we will be training uh, the participants and will be finalizing them for interviews uh, we have technology transfer where we collaborate with technology innovators and initiate and handhold uh, for technology transfer our purna brahma magazine which is a quarterly magazine where you can submit your articles advertisements you can check it on our uh, website csmb website and we have forward linkages right uh, bio salon meet every month chamber organizes a bio salon meet this initiative is also supported by various government agencies uh, government and foreign c foreign agency connects where we work closely with indian ministries agencies foreign embassies and consulates study tours where we have organized uh, virtual uh, factory visit a, win, a unique initiative we had three virtual factory visits for students where around 1000 students had joined and we have a special women cell to empower women entrepreneurs where we create and handhold women entrepreneurs in various establishments to guide younger women to become entrepreneurs our ongoing work are entrepreneurship development programs in collaboration with banks colleges and universities uh, student internship trainings training programs for sgs associated with vst uh, vstf mcdc msamb e learning portal for food tech patshala as i had mentioned and uh, our achievement so far are we have around 250 plus food startups as a part of our ecosystem either through mentorship or startup buddy program 15 startups have already pitched their ideas uh, to investors and are in advanced stage for get uh, for getting funded by selamit we envision large business to happen technology transfer and fruit vegetable processing domestic processing etc uh 
you can be, I appeal you to become a member and uh, membership benefits are uh, you can uh, we, you can be a part of uh, our webinars and physical uh, events hosted by chamber supported and that will be free and subsidized for our members. We, you can use our chamber office in Mumbai if you don't have your presence in Mumbai. You can host your meetings at the office. Our membership is as low as 2,500. And for students and farmers, uh, we have kept it for 500. You can connect our team, connect with our team. Uh, on behalf of our president, Mr. Nilesh Dile, I thank you. Over to you. I now request uh, Asha ma'am to please introduce our today's speaker. And before that, if we can all switch on our camera and we can have a group photographs with our uh, speaker as well. Yes, ma'am. I request everyone to please open up your cameras. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Asha, ma'am, over to you. Yeah. Good afternoon. I'll start his introduction with his tagline. Desh Pratham Vande Bharat. Amazing, Jagat Bhai. And his philosophy is Thank you. action at the speed of thought. I know him personally and his philosophy really matches his uh, uh, whatever biodata has been given to me. Uh, he is a uh, please mute. Uh, he has done PhD in international business. is a diamond technologist. is certified as a cluster development expert by Unido, and is a certified management consultant CMC from ICMCI USA. He is based in Ahmedabad. He worked as trade and investment commissioner of government of Manitoba, Canada. For nine years in India, he has worked on trade and investment related projects with USA Department, USA Department projects with sorry, USA Department of Commerce, Government of Brunei, Government of Senegal, Government of Oman, World Bank, United Nations, DFID, ADB, USAID, the Commonwealth Secretariat, several ministries of Government of India, including Ministry of Textile, many MNCs and SMEs in private sector. His core competence is facilita facilitation of international business that is exports, technology transfer, promotion of IPR and GI in global markets and joint ventures. Under his mentor on road projects, he, derives ar he drives around India, USA, Canada, Africa, Europe, and around the world to mentor youth startups and women-owned businesses. And he has driven 6 lakh kilometers in 20 countries in the last 15 years. He is in the book of world record for the mentoring of mentoring road drive. His benchmark project is his 10 year of work in Afghanistan to connect Afghani businesses to global market. He has facilitated many innovations in SME during the pandemic from idea to execution. He runs six businesses and social enterprises global network, vibrant markets, global ne network institute, smart village program, mentor on road and cluster pulse. So we have got a great speaker. Uh, I'll say he's a motivator. So we welcome you, Jagatji. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, should I start? Uh, how is it? Yes, sir. You play. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Thank you, sir. Okay. So thank you. Uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for uh, inviting me here today. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> so I, uh, I'm accompanied by Ria Singh, who works with me. 
Uh, I'll request uh, Ria if you can share the screen, please. Yes, sir. And it was very interesting to see all the activities which uh, your chamber is doing, because I've always believed that the role of a chamber uh, should always be to promote the business of their members. Right? That should be the primary role. And uh, it is very good to see all the activities you are doing is leading to that direction. Thank you so much, Thanks. sir. Thanks. Uh, so, uh, make it full screen. No, just below there is a bar, the, the hour class. Under the PPT. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Somebody's mic is on. It can be put off. There is some noise coming. Okay, next slide. So already my introduction has been given. So we have been doing a lot of work all over the world. Uh, we run this. Uh, Next slide. Yeah, we run this global network where we do a lot of vibrant events. Vibrant Gujarat is very famous, but we did vibrant Kach, Saurashtra, vibrant Tamil Nadu, vibrant Goa. We do in every state. We run this institute where we give training for exports to SMEs and uh, Cluster Pulse and one-to-one -one consulting smart village. Next slide. So we have worked all over the world. I always joke that there is no space in this world map, otherwise I can add 15 more countries, right? So all these projects are mentioned below the name of the country which we have done. Each project is like six months to 10 years and they were all running parallelly. Uh, at a time, 18, 19 projects we used to execute. Next slide, Ria. These are some of the companies which in the introduction was already mentioned we work with uh, globally, World Bank, you know, you, Unido, USAID. Next. We have worked all over India. Uh, we, we have worked in 80 locations in India on the cluster approach. And again, these are all six months to three year projects. So we understand the products also. Uh, under each city, the product name is given. So these are the clusters where we have worked. We have taken delegations from all these clusters to several countries. So why I'm showing this is because I was reviewing all the registrations of yours uh, and uh, almost every product in which you are representing today, we have worked. So we have experience in those lines. Next. So today I was just checking the, I got a list of 40 companies. So 20 of you are manufacturers. 16 are trading companies, some are both academia, service providers. So I have tried to cover uh, everything for everybody, you know, something for everybody. Already exporting our 11 companies. Uh, in, so I, I will try to do justice to everyone here. Next. Yeah, so some of the expectations uh, I understood and I, will, I, I have made some changes in my presentation after reading these expectations. Yeah, next. So now, uh, you see, it is very interesting to understand this. <clears throat> As we speak today, the entire trade in uh, the GDP of the world is $93 trillion. And India's GDP is $3 trillion. US is $23 trillion, China is $17 trillion. I always ask this question to everybody. You think you will grow in a $3 trillion economy or in a $90 trillion economy? So $90 trillion economy is an export-oriented economy from Indian point of view. So we should always look at $90 trillion economy. And India's and another very interesting element is that, and look at China. China used to be almost equal economy like India in 1980. And how it has become six times larger economy through exports. China is an export-led economy. India is a consumption-led economy. So export-led economy has grown. So this is an indication to us that if we want to grow, we will have to look at exports. 
and the entrepreneurship in india is 10 times any day better than china china is a state driven economy india is a entrepreneur driven economy so entrepreneur driven economy when it gets into export markets it will grow faster now the another data is very interesting before the pandemic started exports from india was 292 billion dollar and now it is 415 billion dollar how did this happen this happen and this does not include freight these are fob values okay someone may say freight went up but this is does not include freight so how did this happen nobody from india was traveling abroad nobody from foreign was coming to india then how export went up so entire way of doing international business has changed 360 degree do we know what change has taken place i will share that today and people were doing meetings like this like we are doing b2b meetings importers and exporters understanding each other then sending samples then negotiating price and shipments were taking place they got used to this system for 2 years now when pandemic has slowed down and things are coming back to normal that system has continued and it will always stay in place though it will become hybrid so th- this is a very strong indication that we a lot of small medium enterprise feel that in export that is very costly we have to travel abroad the pandemic proved it it is not true right it took a pandemic to prove it right so but that's a very good signal for all of us next slide see our prime minister honorable prime minister narendra modi always gives a slogan that india should become 5 trillion dollar economy we cannot become 5 trillion dollar economy without export i have very clear understanding in my mind it is not possible so export and it will be only through entrepreneurs like you that it will happen and it is always is anybody who is exporting here or anybody you know who is exporting they will all tell you it is easier to earn a dollar than a rupee in a joking way i always say you want to one earn one rupee or 80 rupees you decide right one dollar is 80 rupees so that is why another reason to start exports next so competitive see export when we talk about export we have to start with a macro understanding of what is competitiveness a lot of times small medium enterprise feels this is very very big economics this is macro issues it is not exports is all about competitiveness there are four elements of competitiveness efficiently create goods and services which meet global market demand leading to rise leading to rising living standard for everybody in the society and which is sustainable into the future what is efficiently create goods and services innovation in each of the businesses in which you are involved so you know i i have this philosophy i say roti kapda makan padhai or dawai anything to do with food anything with textile anything with construction anything with education and healthcare will always grow as population grows so you all are in food business so roti there is always a demand in the world india has become a feeder to the world world look is looking to india to feed them imagine there was a situation when we were importing food today we are exporting food so innovation so while we are exporting there are more than in every business you are involved in there are more than 500 1000 companies in india if you are part of the crowd you will have to do business like the crowd does give credit sell at less price make low profit no fun business should be done for profit not for sales innovation what is it one thing my definition of innovation do one thing better than anyone else what is that one thing you should know you are an entrepreneur if i if i know i will do it right so be different from the crowd then you will do business in your terms what is that different you have to find out which meet global market demand so whatever you are doing should have a export market for 25 years i have been challenging and i continue to challenge that there is no product or service in india which cannot be exported and i tell people come and tell me this is the product which cannot be exported this is the service which cannot be exported in 10 minutes i will show you one company in india which is already exporting it then why you can't export it and today i am going to demonstrate that also and leading to rising rising living standard it should there should be equity uh, in growth and which is sustainable eco friendly 
next is the foundation and see export is the benchmark of competitiveness a lot of people tell me oh why you are motivating indian companies to export indian smes are not even selling to five states they can't even sell to neighboring state from where they are based india is such a big market why to talk of export i'll tell you the logic when we start exporting we come to know about the best practices of our business in the world and when we bring those best practices to india our indian business improves this is one reason so it is a benchmark of competitiveness that what the world is doing we don't even know and so tomorrow if our economy opens up aggressively we will be washed out if we are not because we don't know what the world is doing but if we are exporting we will come to know what the world is doing and our own indian market will improve next now how to start as low as 1 lakh and below that you can start exports what is the steps form a company whether proprietary partnership llc private limited whatever pan number is free bank account no cost gst number there is no cost there is no gst in export but you need to have a number import export code number there is a online application you get online gst number in 5 6 days 3 4 days also after that export promotion council membership for every product there is a council for food product there is a peda and fio the link i have given this ppt will be mailed to uh, the chamber and you can distribute to everyone and this link every export promotion council is mentioned in this link you can become a member they charge 6000 8000 a year and but it is very useful and then you should have a visiting card nice visiting card a world class website not a website world class website that should be your differentiator everybody makes website now what is the definition of a world class website so there is a alexa ranking there are many rankings compare yourself to that rank that how you compare in every one of you should know in your business which is the number one company in the world which is the number one company in india check their website and see what are the elements in their website which is not in your website and try to incorporate because everybody in the website reflects marketing strategy everybody makes a website for sales so the marketing strategy of company is reflected in a website and professional and complete linkedin id linkedin is a very good source of connecting to people right and you will be very surprised to know of all the profiles in linkedin in the world 51% only are complete and only 20% from india of all the profiles from india in linkedin only 20% are complete if it is not complete linkedin doesn't promote you linkedin has got a ai artificial intelligence based uh, working method algorithm and they know that your linkedin is not complete they don't promote you the way you are trying to find an importer 10 times more is the importer trying to find a good exporter and they are searching in these digital mediums and they are not finding us so we have to first prepare ourselves for that then social media handles before pandemic very few fortune 500 companies used to use instagram today you go and check not 499 500 fortune 500 companies are selling their products on instagram if a fortune 500 company can sell can't we sell right so our social media handle should be very strong that's all you need you can calculate the cost of this to start of course then the product which you buy and that all cost is extra depending on product to product but it doesn't require big investment to start an export business that is what i wanted to tell next see any product can be exported this is a company which exports rotten potatoes in the purchase order it is written if more than 5% will be good quality potato then payment will be deducted the a company in saudi arabia sabik corporation is the importer and the application of this product is they make a brick it's a patented product thin brick there is a big process and then they sell it to airlines by after extracting the starch from a rotten potato a chemical treatment and then a thin brick and when airlines are putting aviation fuel when they add this brick it increases the mileage of the aircraft by 30% 
look at the product application. When I ask this person, the owner of this company, I always give example of people whom I know. When I ask this person, what is the biggest challenge of your business? He tells me, I don't get supply. He says, no problem about market. Next. There is a company, another company, which is exporting goat dung. And it is being sold in Walmart in US for $3 a box. This product which is shown in the picture is not his product. He doesn't allow because he has signed NDA. His export is six and a half crore rupees. He's exporting goat dung. Same problem. He says, I don't get supply. Next. Recently, a Jaipur-based company exported cow dung, 192 metric ton. Now they have 1,000 metric ton order. They have, they exported to Kuwait, Sunrise Agriland. And now Maldives, US, Malaysia, everybody has placed order. What is the application? Production of crops, increase in the yield. Labs in Kuwait tested, American lab in Kuwait tested. And they said, yes, cow dung will increase yield of the production of crops. Because all Middle East countries are importing food, fruits and vegetables, they also want to grow. Right. And second, most important and very interesting, we generally joke about this thing in India. And Kuwait is importing and a lot of countries are importing is that they have technically and scientifically found out that it relieves humans from serious ailments. Right. Now, my question is, is your product better than rotten potato? Is it better than goat dung? Is it better than cow dung? Then it can be exported. These three examples, I can give 100 examples. Next. There is a how to do exports. So we have developed, this is our own process we have developed. It is called Art and Science of Exports. Data-based HS code export method. Spanko, it's called Spanko. Suspect, prospect, approach, negotiate, close and order. Suspect, five countries only. I'll give you a demo today. Five countries only. Find out five countries which will be importer of your product, but in a scientific way. And what is the scientific way? I'll show you. Then in each of the five countries, find out 10 importers. Again, in a scientific way. If you are a small company, don't target Walmart. Walmart will send you a 16-page registration form. It will take you one year to fill it up. And then they will ask the first sample quotation for 150 containers. Will you able to, able to give? Target your matching kind of an importer. How to find that? We will see. And then now you have 50 companies in your hand. Now you approach. How to approach? Approach a man, he or she. A man is a person, he or she, who has money, authority and need. Money, funding, authority to decide and need for the product. 50% of the time we are talking to people who cannot decide. So if you find out your man, 50% of sales is done. And there are two tools to find out, LinkedIn and Sales Navigator. And we will see. And then negotiate, close and order. Close is the only art. Everything else is science. And I'll demonstrate that science in next 15-20 minutes. Close is an art. I always say, first order in export is no order. They are still experimenting on you. They don't know you will supply on time or not. They don't know you will supply what you committed quality or not. They don't know you will do bright packing or not. They don't know you will communicate in speed or not. They don't know your documents will come in time or not. Second order when you get from the same importer, then your export business starts. Because the second order is placed on the performance of the first order. So close is an art. How do you close first time? First time they don't know anything about you. Right? How do you prove you are reliable, competent, you have integrity, you have empathy? That is the art. Everything else is science. And last is order. Next. So I will give you a quick demo. I have taken one product of soup. So can you, Ria, can you go to the commerce site? So I'll give you a demo. For each one of you, you can find out based on your HS code. Uh, can you go to the browser?
Are you not able to share the browser? Oh yes, sir. <clears throat> Just uh, let me. Yes, sir. Yes, I got it. Okay. One second, sir. Yeah, is my screen visible, yes, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so there is a government of India Ministry of Commerce website called commerce.gov.in. This is the website. You go to latest trade figures. You see on the right hand side latest trade figures, right? Then there is a, on the left hand side you see and export import data bank annual. Click that. Click OK and then go on the see last 15 years of export and import data of government of India will come to you. Go to the third link called commodity wise all countries. Now this box comes to you. Now select 21, 22. Select the year 21, 22 and select HS code 210410. And go to sort. Yeah, next, current year. And now, okay, so this is soup, soup and broths. Now you see, did you, did anyone of you think that highest export of India for soup is to Korea? None of you would have thought. This is called science. This is government of India, Ministry of Commerce, customs data, 21-22-2021. And in 21-22, export of soups from India to Korea grew by 60%. It was 8.22 crores, now 13 crores. This is rupees in lakhs. Right? Nepal, 9 crore. USA, 8 crore. Bhutan, 1.95 crore. Bangladesh, Australia, Canada, UAE, UK. Go down right at the end. And total export of India in one year, 40, 40 crores. 40 crores of only soups. And there are many, many categories of soup. This is only one category. There are many categories of soups. I was checking all of that. I reached almost 670 crore rupees for all soups put together. Then I stopped. I said, this is a never ending thing. This must be so much high. Okay, go up. So this is, see, this is called Spanko S. Which country can be buyer of your product in a scientific way? This is science. If you can change the customs data of India, then it is art. You can't change it, right? So, so this is science. This is data. Okay. So you have to select five countries out of this. Spanko, suspect. Which country can be buyer of your product? Now, suppose I decide Canada. How to find who is the importer in Canada? What is the scientific way of finding out? Can you go to Canadian site? Every government now has a custom site which is open. And if you go to Government of Canada custom site, 210410. First of all, we'll check whether HS code is in Canada. Yeah, and Canada also says soups. Check that. And what it says, there are eight importers go down. And these are the eight importers. This is custom site of Government of Canada. Is there any better foolproof method to find out an importer than this? There is no foolproof. This is science. If you can change the name of the company in Canadian customs, it is art. It is science. Prospect. So simple to find an importer. A lot of people ask me, get me importer. I said, why you want me to do easy things? It is so simple. More difficult to is to get the order. I always tell everyone, you want importer name or you want order? Importer name is so easy, it took one minute. In any country, you can find out like this. In any country. Directly from customs. All the systems are there. So this prospect P, who can be buyer of your product? Same way, can you go to International Trade Center? In commerce data, we only found what India is exporting. Now, if you want to know, in the whole world, who is importing soup highest from anywhere in the world? 210410. In the whole world, which country is importing highest soup? Maybe from anywhere in the world. 
and what is the total import market see world see list of importers go on the top list of importers of the selected product in 2021 soup go down world total world import is given then us is the largest importer second is canada mexico germany with value no, nothing to do with india but look at now you come to know the global size of the market you can't find this global size of market in india i mean you can't find indian market size there is no data available to find that what is the total market size of soup in india there is no single place to find data but for export it is available export is easy now if you go to germany can you click germany fourth one this and this data is from international trade center geneva world uh, united nations now you see list of supplying markets for the product imported by germany which countries are exporting to germany so and if you go to companies on the top if you click companies yeah hold on a bit you will find which companies are importing see you just go on to the uh, soups soups and extracts last one and uh, third huh. there is a big list right now it's a demo so the full list will not come if we do a actual stuff whole list will come see these are the companies importing this is from the customs all the customs in the world they give data to international trade center geneva and international trade center puts it all together right so now this now if you see if you go to the second one just click the second one and their website is also given uh, so this company name website even the executive name is given see man suspect country prospect approach uh, prospect company approach a man a man he or she who is a decision maker itc is saying tom is ceo phone number is given 175 employees are working in the company click the website accept all cookies to go to yeah see see all the soups you study this the website go to products see what they are selling send them sample like that knowledge is business now product is no more business knowledge is business as much knowledge you will attach to product your business will grow can you click that products on the top after company they do many things they must be having soup also if you go down because that's what they are importing they have many food stuffs so you study and you will find soup somewhere and many other food stuff also and we found that they are importing send them a sample of that type right okay go back to ppt see suspect country prospect buyer man approach negotiate price close the order took 10 minutes any product any country you can find out hs code you should know not difficult i have copy pasted the whole process here for you make it full screen when ppt comes so that you don't get lost that what's happening you can follow this process next next is for some other hs codes i have done now see middle east used to be very poor 60 years back they used to sleep on a camel back they got oil they became rich data is the new oil what i showed to you was data if you know how to mine data if you know how to analyze data you will become rich when i say rich it means you will become exporter and always tell a story with data see look at the first lego data how it is jumbled up then when it is sorted how it looks when it is arranged how it looks when presented visually and explain with a story how it looks every one of you has got a story can you find one person in the whole world of 700 crore people who has same story like you you will never find each one of us is unique that is what i said 
do one thing better than anyone else you yourself are unique tell your story don't sell a product nobody buys a product people buy a story richard branson virgin atlantic when he launches a new location for his plane for his airline, airline company he climbs on top of the cockpit and stands like this and the plane is taking off like this then it stops he gets down he is marketing he is the owner of the company billionaire what is the need for him to go there he is telling a story there is no better marketing person in the world than you for your product tell your story jeb bezos today is the richest man of the world even today he is he is sending on the facebook this is the picture of 20 by 20 room where i used to work alone for 4 years are baba you have become richest man of the world but so what he is still selling his story so we are not rich we want to become rich he is already rich still he is selling his story i was working in a one room 20 by 20 tell your story but with data next this is the spenko cycle next understand one thing this is my 25 years of experience in international business people do business with people first company second product third price fourth people company product price 35% decision making on what type of person you are 25% on company your company product and price in india it is like this the other way everything is on price because this two is weak what is the meaning of people if i am making a phone call to an american company for soup i want to export them instead of telling oh i am a manufacturer i am a producer i want to export i will start telling him do you know mr tom that in last one year in the pandemic soup market in america grew by 42% i will start by telling this he will say oh is it what is your source of information so you should have done your research and you should say this is my source of information tom i am sending you on the email check it out so tom what how much your company business grew he will say 10% do you want me to share you five tips of how you can grow your business in america start talking how your customer can grow business your business to them will become a by product they will start thinking oh this person i am want to do business with this person i will not only get soup i will get so much knowledge information and my business will grow this is a person i want to work with knowledge is business product is no more business you attach knowledge to business business will grow we don't attach knowledge and then company iso certification proper management structure product 20% price why let me give you a quick example you know you will all be perhaps surprised to know one data that for last 10 years every year without any exception 65% of export from india is done by merchant export so how they are doing they don't have price problem we are saying oh very price competitive they are buying from someone at 1 dollar manufacturer they are buying from a manufacturer at 1 dollar and they are exporting at 110 so why manufacturer cannot export at 105 so price is not an issue the issue is that we are busy with operations that merchant export is only handling market they have transferred the headache of manufacturing labor has not come today dispatch not happening electricity go away plant is down gst officer has come i have to go to income tax for to my chartered accountant day to day all we are fire fighting in operations where is the time to think of export so how to come out of it there is a model called delegation of authority i will explain later so, so then you will be able to concentrate on and i always tell all manufacturers start a merchant export company why is it necessary that you should export only what you produce 
see when you start get, when you get an importer they are not importing your product they are importing trust they trust you then after two three shipments ask them what else do you import you will say i import mango also okay i can source mango from you and you will buy he'll buy he will buy he trust you i know our students i call them students they are all business people i know our students they get list of products from their importer look this is what i want look this is the factory in india you go and buy and this is the price and you add your 10% in this age of information you think importer doesn't know you are a merchant exporter you think importer doesn't know you are buying from somebody they know everything then why are they buying from merchant exporter there is a trust element that you have to build in your business right next see see 1990 can't find india in the internet world can't see india now second highest we are 8 crore internet user 80 crore internet users in india right okay very good but what is the benefit to us have we taken any advantage no we have not taken advantage right we have become it producer country and it exporter country not it user country right i am sure all of you are buying things online but i don't know how many of you are selling things online so we are buying because we have trust on others manufactured products not selling we don't have trust on our own product i can't see any other reason next see e-commerce in last 10 years see the biggest e-commerce market of the world is us why what is the e-commerce meaning anybody in the world who has got a credit card computer or a smartphone and internet connection is your customer in e-commerce in last 10 years whatever growth took place in america in e-commerce that much growth took place in first 3 months of pandemic but we were missing in the action because we were not present in that model of business so business models have changed next this one company in america blue nile.com they buy diamonds from surat all the designs 3500 designs they sell diamond studded gold silver jewelry all designs designs are made in india and other countries portal is made by indians company is american listed in new york stock exchange 3000 crore rupees sales annual all raw material is indian company is american next personalized doormats.com there is a lady in they partners they buy this from lap kerala 230 rupees they sell for 2400 rupees 9 crore rupees sales doormat from lap kerala designs from jaipur portal made in amdavad company american next ex cypress industries auto parts 50 fastest growing company in us they sell auto parts online they buy auto parts from india and they sell online next i can go on and on this ramajiam one of our student in madurai very interesting model she has done b2b b2c she has combined so they have a factory of rice this is the b2b website but if you see online shop is b2c in one system both is combined and they are selling online also and exports also online and b2b also next this is in 50 years this is nothing new for 50 years it is in the books of economics it is called functional upgrading in the value chain of doing business production right now whatever we are doing is production transporting raw material to our factory converting to finished product doing quality checking and packing lowest profit margin is there go one step back design innovation do something different go one step forward branding online branding clinical and precision brand building not with big cost money spanko five countries you shortlisted do clinical and precision brand building on the internet for only those five countries and marketing through the e-commerce model this functional upgrading of value chain 
Next. See, do one thing better than anyone else. That's innovation. Stand apart from the crowd. Next. Next slide, Ria. And it, this is very interesting. It's okay to fail. This is an American philosophy. It's okay to fail. But fail early and fail small. We are afraid to fail. From my childhood, my parents have told me, do whatever you want to do, masti. Never fail in class. So I grew up with that psychology that failure is not good. So I can never become an innovator. The foundation of innovation is failure. My psyche says fail ni on eka. I can never become innovator. So India is a technology follower country. We are not a technology leader country. Not because we don't have brain. All top IT companies of America run by Indians. All medical fraternity in America is Indians. All professors, successful professors in America are Indians. Last three personal doctors of American presidents are Indians. You go to any college and ask who is your best professor, they will give an Indian name. No problem with brain. Why we are afraid to fail here? So we have to accept it's okay to fail. Fail early, fail small. Same way, it's okay to make mistake. But never repeat the same mistake. This is These elements we have to bring to business. Entrepreneurship we already have. There is no issue with that. Next. Build your network before you need a network, not when you need. This is about LinkedIn. A lot of people, what they do, they will go to LinkedIn, they are searching for an importer, they will find out and they will immediately write. Thank you for accepting my request. I am manufacturer of so-and-so. I want to export to you. Can we discuss? It is wrong method. It is so mean. I mean, you want to, you, you build relationship. You, you connect to them, build relationship. You take a premium account of LinkedIn. You will come to know when is their birthday. You will come to know they got promoted. Wish them. Notification comes. Create a history of communication. Show empathy. Then you need them. You write, they will respond 100%. And immediately you connect and write the zero percent they will respond. They will say, oh, this person connected to me for this thing. Build your network before you need the network, not when you need the network. LinkedIn is so powerful tool. Next. Next slide. This is a new normal economy. Now the permanent constant is change. Either be an agent of change or a victim of change. Whenever anybody comes to me and says, my business is not doing good, I just do a change audit. I say, when there was a time to change, you did not change. So don't blame the environment. You now change. And what is the change? Five elements. This is the theory we developed in pandemic. K-E-Y-D-W. We are in a knowledge economy. Add knowledge to business. Doesn't matter you are manufacturer, trader, service provider. Add knowledge to business. Business will grow. We are in an eco-friendly economy. Do everything you do as in an eco-friendly way. Everything which you are doing, continue to do. Start one new eco-friendly business. Give it one hour a day. Give it thousand days. It will be your business for next 20 years. Youth-driven economy. Hire young people in your company for communications. And your market is also youth. Digital economy, adopt a digital method of doing business and work from home economy, work from anywhere economy. In this pandemic, we had 95 young people, all fresh graduates. They're all from all over India and they're all working from home. And Ria is here with us. She has been working with us for long. She is based in Bangalore. All our staff working from all over India. There is no element of marketing which requires somebody to come to your office. Right? So build those models. Your cost of operations will go down. Your market opportunity will go up. You will get national talent. Next. This is the model. Hire for attitude. Hire young people for their attitude. And train them for skills. Our education system is not training them for skills. When they come to industry, they know nothing about the industry. Train them for skills. But if they have a positive attitude, you can train anything. 
you cannot train attitude to anybody you can train any skills to anybody train them for skills you know the skills it's your product your company and empower them with authority tell them to make phone calls to buyers we are restricting them we are telling them send email email is not a means of communication email is a means of email is not a means of introduction email is a means of communication phone call is a means of introduction and build a effective reporting system hire for attitude train for skills empower with authority and build reporting system and you will see the business growing next see an entrepreneur should not run the business an entrepreneur should grow the business if you are running the business don't complain about growth run the business these are i call operations you are handling operations then why complain about growth you are not paying any attention to growth so in order to grow delegate authority there are a lot of lectures which takes place on leadership my definition of leadership is very simple delegation of authority the moment you delegate authority you yourself become leader and someone to whom you delegated authority will become leader because you delegated authority they will learn delegation of authority a lot of small medium companies say no no people are cheating i trust them they cheat they cheat because we have not built mis systems if i am working in your company and if i know that if i cheat i won't be caught then i will cheat but if you have a system mis erp crm i know if i do something wrong a flag will be raised to the next level and there is a doc trail documentary trail i will be caught then i will not cheat right earlier when we used to promote erp for some companies people used to say oh, it is very costly 30 lakh rupees i can't afford i am an sme we said okay fine now the cost of erp is 2500 rupees per user per month and what the same sme is saying no no but what about data security it is just an excuse what data you want to secure you want me to get your data in 10 minutes from your computer i'll get it these are all we we, we have to adopt it until and unless we, we adopt technology we will not grow don't be fearful there are so many ways of protecting data next see you may be thinking knowledge economy how to get knowledge google alert system is there you just click google alerts and you write a word what i have written we are now doing export reality show so i have written export reality show global network my company institute my name mentor on road smart village vibrant goa which we are doing anywhere in the world any anywhere in the world in newspaper in any publication in any article anywhere if export reality show word comes it will come to me next day in a list from google so these are the places where export reality show word came i'll just go through i'll see if something is relevant to me i'll click and read further i got knowledge 10 minutes i am updated with all what's happening with export reality show in the world it's free google alerts that's how you get knowledge there are so many digital tools unending in pandemic we identified 100 digital tools and we are challenging smes that there is no problem of your company which cannot be solved digitally it is our challenge you tell us problem we will show you one digital tool look this tool tool will solve your problem whether related to production planning hr admin marketing finance doesn't matter next see this i'll to give you this tips all of you must be having customers 10 customer 50 customer 100 customer 500 customer conduct an anonymous customer feedback anonymous don't ask their name email company name phone nothing just ask an and ask only five questions first two objective type last only descriptive type and write in the message send them whatsapp send them by email you must be having the whatsapp number and email and prepare a google questionnaire send them the link see and write it is anonymous we don't want you to write your information 
please fill it up they will give you honest feedback if i am your customer you ask my name i will be shy i don't want to spoil my relation with you why i'll criticize you but if i see oh you will not know that i am sending i'll write honest and the kind of feedback you will give you will get your business model will change there is nobody in the world better than a customer to improve your business this is how you use technology it is free of cost what is the cost of google question ask free what is the cost of whatsapp free what is the cost of email free and all the submissions will come in a tabulated form free analyze it technology is available to do anything next entrepreneurs are the economic soldiers of a country all the government of india whatever expense they do for any development work comes from entrepreneurs money there is no revenue of government which comes other than from a source direct or indirectly through entrepreneur we are building the nation it is our duty to grow our business so that nation can be built it is our duty our soldiers are protecting the border we entrepreneurs have to protect the economy that is why we should grow the business a lot of people i know they are doing 100 crore business they have enough money big house mercedes car children studying abroad they say abhi kya karna abhi kya karna everything is set no hunger to make money no hunger to growth no wealth creation attitude after certain stage there is a maslow's need hierarchy after certain stage nobody makes money for yourself what you will eat gold biscuit nobody makes money then it is for the societal cause you have to make money what is the meaning of growing business you will create more employment what is the meaning is there any greater charity in this world than to create more employment there is no greater cause than this when you create an employment for someone whole year you are feeding their family you go to a temple and give money how much time that money will be of use you hire one person whole year you are feeding their children education is on you their health care is on you what is a greater cause than this grow your business for this purpose not how much money you need for yourself right so this should be the purpose of growing business never be satisfied with what stage you have reached grow business so that you can hire more people and country can grow your gst which you pay income tax which you pay import duty which you pay will be used to bring prosperity in the country we are still a poor country a lot of money is needed to bring it up next this is our one one just our program anyone is interested it's a free program she is our student niyati mehta and she has built amazing the first smart anganwadi of india and she is building many many smart anganwadi so she is going to talk how to make money as well as social enterprise together i like the young people start to that they say not to do not for profit work money should also be made and social enterprise should also be there so very good combination she will talk about on 31st you can register on this link i will send it next then we have a export documentation and procedure program on 12th next and then we have a next slide we have a very good program again we only do programs for our students so this is our student on investment in us next on and then this is our service export batch you know sir the way i explain to you today is related to product for service export there is a different method okay it is not what i shown to you it is very complex so we do this service export special batches we conduct our next batch is 17 september to 20 september next and then we have a product batch see we are now doing 200th batch in last 25 years more than 5800 business people have attended and 2600 are exporting and our next now 200th batch is from 24th september next this is for product exports next slide this one book i have written 896 short poetry of mine four four line each it is on a, on a amazon if you are interested in hindi it's in hindi shabdon ki zimmedari next 
It's very interesting book. Let me talk about this one minute. You see the beauty of this book, 890 poetry, which I wrote in 15 years. The beauty of this book, keep it where you have your morning tea or coffee. Open any page, any page. Read any one poetry. Read just four line, five line. You will think how Jagat Shah wrote this about me. Every poetry applies to you. All 896. Anybody who reads. And whole day you will feel positive in your mind. It's a very positivity message. We have sold 150,000 books in one year in Amazon. Next. That's it. My philosophy is action at the speed of thought. You can follow my social media. I have more than a million followers. Every day we I post something interesting for business. My phone and email is there. We have an online video store. More than 150 programs are hosted there. All two hour programs. And you can remove the presentation. That's it. It's a very big subject exporting. I tried to show you certain glimpses. But more interesting for me was that you understand how to do business. Export is the easier part. In export, there are two elements, preparation and market. 50-50% each weightage. A lot of people come to me, market bilado. I say, why you want to do easy thing? Are you ready? You are not ready. Why are you talking of market? Get ready first. There are 20 steps of readiness which we have developed. You tick mark all 20, forget market, market will come to you. Importers are searching good exporters. They want to diversify from China. They are not finding us in India. We are not present digitally. And they are going back to China. They don't like Chinese. Earlier also they didn't like. Now also are because of pandemic. And many reasons. But if they don't find us, where will they go? Who will give them that kind of quantity? So we have to be prepared to take advantage. There is no shortage of business in the world, let me tell you. Just we have to equip ourselves with the knowledge. Anybody has questions, you can ask, please. I can go on talking up to tomorrow morning. So, but if you have any question, you ask, I will answer. That will be a better interaction. Then I can answer to you specific to your business or product. Absolutely, sir. I mean, anybody from the audience, if you would like to ask any question, uh, yeah. you are feel, uh, please uh, unmute yourself and ask. Yeah, the question. You can put it in the chat also, and you can unmute also, either way. So, we have a Swadeshi food one question, sir. I want to export spices like turmeric in various form, dry finger powder form. I have been trying. Oh, so I showed you the method. I showed you the method. Spices, turmeric has got a HS code, find out the HS code from Google, go to Ministry of Commerce website, find out which countries are importing, go to that country's custom site, find out importers, approach them, go to LinkedIn, connect to the person by the name of the person who has been coming in, International Trade Center name, connect on LinkedIn, make a phone call, give your introduction, but you won't get business. Are you prepared? Is your website world class? Is your LinkedIn profile complete? Do you have all your social medias? Do you have a brochure? Do you have a blog? Because when you write to them that I want to sell to you, they will check all this. If it is not proper, they will say your website is not proper. How your product will be proper? You can't make proper website. How you can do proper packaging? They will not believe you. Uh, so thank you for the answering. Uh, I have done the world class uh, website. I have also done the. Uh, you uh, mentioned the way I have to find all the buyers, importers, and right and uh, formally emails. I have started. Now my question is like, uh, how do you uh, come to know the like not genuineness of the customer? Are the importer is genuine or not? Of course, street trade is a well known uh, this thing where you know you, the importers are genuine. Secondly, about the credibility of that regarding the payment of the 
from the uh, importer is an important issue and thirdly i uh, i would like to know how you find like uh, international agents uh, you know like there may be procurement consultant there in that particular country suppose us me i want to sell turmeric fingers so how to find uh, maybe because i've heard i i'm new into this industry that's why i'm asking you uh, like uh, if i want to sell turmeric fingers to us how to find the uh, international um, agent or indenting agents of that particular country i did the google and everything i could, I could not find is an association or something of that sort to let me know so in us there is an association called mana online dot org manufacturer agent national association it's called mana online dot org you will get agents there there is another company in chicago called american agent dot com you will find there also many agents third tool is sales navigator you must google sales navigator and you will find agents from sales navigator and the fourth tool is linkedin fifth tool is indian embassy indian embassies abroad have also started maintaining list of agents you write to them with hs code they will send you a list about the credibility of the importer there are two mechanism one you can ask ecgc that i want to supply 10000 dollar goods to this company they will tell you whether they will do your insurance or not because it is a credit insurance so they will check on the credibility if they say we will do it means it is credible or you go to, go go to dun and brass street which is an american company they will charge you 4 5000 rupees when you are close to closing a deal you do the credibility check report through them they will give you a 10 page credibility report on the company okay, okay. okay. Sir, can you repeat the uh, first one that you mentioned manaonline.org okay and second one was americanagent.com okay thank you so much sir welcome excellent session thank you very much welcome so shiv shah is asking how do we get started in export business with minimal capital i showed you in one slide i think you joined late did you see the slide i had shown where i had said 1 lakh rupees how you start business this ppt uh, yes actually i uh, joined in late ah so you have missed that never be late if you cannot attend a meeting on time how your goods will go on time through that sir <laughs> very sorry you no know, there time discipline in our country and we complain about other things don't mind no no sir absolutely yeah. it's true any time we have to be always on time it's once true. one japanese joked with me he said no 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 why mm -hmm. you get so worked up about time why it doesn't matter there is no problem i said why okay. we should be in time no he says no don't worry i said why mm -hmm. he says you believe in punar janam na in india well what is the hurry He was joking with me. Then I came to know. So <laughs> always be on time. Anyway, this PPT will come to you, and you can go through it. Okay. Thank you so much. That's a good question you asked. Second question is very interesting. Uh, how do you select your country, your product for a very good question? How do you select your product for a particular country? The same Ministry of Commerce website which I showed to you. in that there is another section we actually showed commodity wise all countries there is another section mm -hmm. which is country wise all commodities and if you click on that you will see that which country is importing what commodities from india higher to lower got it then you select the product for that particular country your third question which countries are showing increase interest to switch yes so every country got every it. country is searching but let me tell you again you may be surprised 69% of all the export which takes place from india of any product is to developed countries got it countries are the ones who are searching alternative number 1 number 2 and that is why you know it 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 was taking 10 years to negotiate free trade agreement in 33 days it was signed with australia by india they are in a hurry in 88 days we signed free trade agreement with uh, uae 96% of india's products to uae is now 0% duty okay for last 10 years we are negotiating with canada for free trade agreement you will see in 130 days in next 30 days it will be signed correct correct is is looking for alternate 
but we are not ready okay correct sir alka, thank you so much sir welcome shiv uh, alka i am in millet and its value added products as a private labeling brand do you say manufacturing and then exporting or just export under private label as i am under impression that as i cannot give good price very good question i like this question i always tell everybody before you start manufacturing because when you start manufacturing you have to invest in land building machinery manpower raw material before you start manufacturing get the same product made by some some existing manufacturer do your private label with your brand which you are planning to do in your manufacturing factory and sell first for 6 months can you sell if you can sell then set up the factory what will you do by setting up factory if you can't sell now your question could be no no but about the price that's what you are saying good price okay here is my logic you buy at 1 dollar you sell at 1 dollar where is the question of price Don't make money in the beginning see whether you can sell or not if you can sell then make factory and sell at a higher profit you are testing the market we in india we never test the market we straight away go to market test the market first buy from someone trade keep very low margin keep zero margin you are learning to decide whether to set up a factory or not why you want to make profit from day one and you start trading that's the best way millet has a big big market sumitra ji i am running a restaurant how can i yes honest has opened restaurant 16 restaurant in america franchise you can give franchise if your restaurant is i my theory of franchise is very interesting my theory of franchise is different i always say if your restaurant is famous in your city is it means it is good so it won't be famous in your own city if any one of you is famous with your product or service or business in your city go global give franchise but how to go sir i don't know how that to do that that is a long process <laughs> i cannot explain there is a there is a franchise india company who takes they have taken my money <laughs> four times so <laughs> no no then 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 there is something both of you are doing wrong it is not rocket science yeah because 45 years old is my restaurant see see what a grand goodwill you have just by yeah. saying 45 year build such amazing goodwill no yeah, in amdavad can survive no good restaurant can survive even 10 years if it is not good yeah it is 45 years in yeah. amdavad you can amazing what is the name va pizza va pizza and veil house the municipal market I don't know what happened in franchise India, but Goro is my friend. When he migrated from US to India many years back, I guided him how to start his franchise yeah. business. But uh, maybe we can talk one to one. I can give you some tips. Surely, you know, sir. Uh, Surely, I'll give you a call. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Definitely. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It was really nice session, sir. Welcome. Where is the location? I am also in Ahmedabad. Wap is a municipal market, sir. Oh, 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 I must have come many times. Yeah, sir. And one is Ikubo Sizzler. That is also almost eighteen years. Oh, very good. Okay. Now this time I will get discount. Yeah, surely. <laughs> surely, sir. Amdavadi yeah. always looks for a discount. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can share my number. It was there in the PPT also. It is there. And you just Google my name. You will get my number. my number is everywhere i keep it open i don't know speaker okay. is problem any questions anyone may i ask a question sir yeah please please absolutely okay now regarding spices when i was telling for turmeric and everything and you said to check shoe trade map so that is for the bulk companies right now suppose i want to sell it in us under my brand the dishy foods then uh, uh, how i am supposed to meet the uh, supermarket chain uh, and all can you guide me on this it is not advisable to sell directly to supermarket chain because supermarket chain asks for long term credit okay okay and their quantities are very low it is better you sell to a distributor who is already supplying to supermarkets that distributor will pay you on time and they will give credit to the supermarket 
So you mentioned two uh, sites. Uh, there, I'll get the distributor. Uh, no, 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 no. Those sites are for agents, not distributor. Okay, for distributors. Distributor is the method I showed you. Spanko. The method of Spanko is for distributor because distributor okay. and importer is same. Okay, okay. Importer and distributor is same thing. Okay, got it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Anyone else? Any questions? Uh, hello, Jagat ji. Uh, yes. This is Kumar Abhishek. Yes. Uh, so we have just started in the space of Mahua, also called Maudo in uh, Gujarat, where we are creating value-added products using Mahua. By far, you know, you will see that uh, mainly Mahua goes into the industry of liquor industry. Uh, and it is highly stigmatized, but on the other hand, the oil and the, uh, the flowers also have high nutritional value, also good for cosmetic production. So since we just started, we have the flexibility of you know deciding whether to get into B2B or B2C. So, uh, we are getting into contract manufacturing at the moment, tap the B2C market. Uh, whereas I was just wondering if we had to explore the uh, you know route of export market, is it advisable? To go for uh, B2B or B2C? Why either of the one? Go both. Do okay. both B2B, B2C. Why? What is B2C? B2C is not IT business. B2C is logistics business. B2C is about delivery. Okay. Now, for example, what you do? You take a warehouse somewhere. You use the same warehouse for B2B delivery also and B2C delivery also. Online e-commerce. Same okay. facility you can do. You find out an importer and tell the importer that you work on B2B also and for B2C delivery also, I'll give you the order. You only deliver e-commerce. Okay. Do both together. Okay. Do both together. Maybe in different brand because your brand will come in conflict. If you do both B2B, B2C, your brand will come in conflict. Keep two different brands. One only okay. B2C brand, one B2B brand. So there is no conflict in the same market. That's a very good advice. Yes. yes. Do both. Thank you. I think there was also an example which you had uh, shared. Somebody was working on rice. Yes. Yeah. It's Rama JM rice in Madurai. For Thank export. You. Welcome. For export, which products are more preferred? Indian traditional or global? Everything. Everything. Where, wherever there are Indians, they need Indian food. Wherever there are non-Indians, they need global food. Right? So, everything is popular. Food, roti, kapda, makan, padai, or dawai. Everything will sell. Right? Good afternoon, sir. I'm Sumit Agarwal from Bionutrients. Yes, Sumit ji. Uh, sir, can you... Uh... I am facing difficulty in uh, getting the health certificate, sir. For what? Uh, we are manufacturing soy milk powder. Uh, certificate from where? Uh, the EIC or the EIA, whatever you call it. Sir. Export Inspection Agency. What is the difficulty? No, the time because uh, urgent shipments, uh, you know, they, they take up. Uh, they take their own time, five, six, seven days. First, the test report and then the certificate and all those things. Is there a shorter route for that, sir? No, I mean, I, I know some people there. I can connect you to them. Sushma is there. I can connect you. You can talk I, to them. I'm in Bhopal, sir, MP. Yeah, no problem. There, she is in the head office. So okay. I can send you her number. You talk to her. She can tell you the solution. All right. Thanks so much. Can I ask you a question? Yes, please. Uh, actually, when you mentioned that, you know, uh, the product are getting, um, when we ship from India, a major drawback that we saw was that whatever uh, certifications or whatever um, authority that here inspects, whether the quality is perfect or not, we having a great impact and as to how to crack that code because you know they have a very mindset is there which is very challenging for us to prove that see it is completely authentically researched here and 
it's not that we have manipulated so that's the major uh, mindset where we are right now struggling to crack the code you are talking about importers yes right? importers yes when they importers say about now. quality yes yes what we do what we always suggest companies to do you tell the importer that you nominate the inspection agency mm -hmm. transfer the thing to them correct you nominate whom you want sgs inspectorate griffith export inspection agency you tell which one you want you tell them only to decide then the ball is in their court then you say you told correct Let them appoint their agency absolutely See, all, the, all the multinational companies abroad who do sourcing from india like gap or walmart i mean all these jc penny all these big garment companies, they have appointed their full time inspectors in india okay somebody who go and inspect as per their standards but why if there is a small medium enterprise who is an importer Mm -hmm. and they can appoint any agency in india whom they have confidence in tell okay. them to appoint give them choice the sgs is good it is a global company inspectorate griffith is a british company export inspection agency is government of india there are so many seven eight agencies you say you select which one you want tell us pass the buck to them okay thank you so much sir welcome is some one question here if possible please share the link where we can look up country wise commodity yeah okay okay i will write so it is commerce.gov.in okay i have post i have written in the chat oh this is going somewhere else How do I understand? Why it's not going? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, correct. Anyone else? Any questions? good so i wish you all the best don't be scared and never any time there is any challenge you have you can ask me no problem and uh, you can go to the there is no solution which is not available on a digital system everything is very transparent nowadays you just have to have that knowledge and you have to be perseverant you have to be patient you have to keep chasing people you have to organize yourself uh, do uh, build your proper uh, you know all marketing collaterals do your research proper hire young people give them the authority to work you yourself if you try to find market you won't find you are already handling so many other things where is the time you have got it requires 8 hours a day of work to get into export in the pandemic we had 95 people young people we are all fresh graduates and we trained them because we know the business but their mindset was very positive and they received the training and now they are executing the work hire young people they will do this work for you it is good for the country also young people will get trained because of your experience and they will help you to grow also right so that is the kind of there is no such thing A lot of people just tell me give me importer that's it that is the easiest thing to do that doesn't mean you will get order right and even if you get order it doesn't mean you will get second order so then was the fun so prepare yourself that's it my my message to you don't worry about market go dung is exported cow dung and rotten potato your product is so amazing arpita ji anything yeah. else no sir i would really like to thank you for giving such a wonderful and informative session and uh, it was really great honor to have you and get so much information about how to crack an export code you know basically it's cracking a code and you have shown that scientifically how we can crack it with very simple hacks and tricks and being digital is the way forward so your message of today is, is something that we will definitely ponder in ourselves in doing our business forever and it is like 
a, a thought that is going to not just boost our economy, but also help in boosting our nation's economy. So thank you so much for giving such a wonderful and insightful session. Uh, I would like to uh, thank all our um, participants who have joined us. And if there are some on the YouTube, they can definitely view this uh, session on YouTube. And thank you for giving uh, your time and your uh, questions that you have asked. It has really enhanced and made this in, uh, session very interact interactive. And on behalf of the whole chamber for the advancement of small and uh, medium businesses, I would like to thank you all especially I can see our one of the senior most advisor, Dr. Prakash Kondekar. And uh, I'm really grateful that uh, he has joined and he has listened. So thank you all so much. And we wish you all the best in help uh, doing the exports. And if you have any queries, please do write to us. CSMB is there to handhold you also and help you to connect with such people like Jagat sir today we have that we can definitely help you to build your business at a greater heights that you have anyways thought about. So thank you all. And we look forward to see you in our next, next session as well. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank sir. you, Ria, thank you. for presenting the screen.